Hey everyone, I've had a surprising number of people ask me about this fuel pressure gauge on top of the Riff Raff Diesel billet fuel filter lid. Um, first off, we got some big changes coming to this truck. As you can tell, we have the FRX system on here now. Love the system, big improvement over stock, but my factory fuel pump has gotten a little bit weak. The previous owner had apparently put a cheap Chinese knockoff one on it. It's not making the pressure, and I just happen to have a fast system. It's a Titanium Series 140. It was a takeoff from a used truck with zero miles on it. A customer installed it, decided to go a different direction. It had some problems. We got it fixed, and, well, it's ready to go back on a truck. So we're going to be going to a fast system on this truck and also most likely a regulated return system. But getting back to the fast or sorry, not the fast, the riffraff setup we have here. Um, for the riffraff housings, the fitting into the housing is a dash four. So it will not accommodate your typical um, eighth inch MPT fuel pressure gauges. So all you need is an adapter. Um, do not use thread uh, tape on this. This is actual diesel rated sealant that's on it. Um, the bottom section, I reuse the O-ring that comes on the uh, plug that comes with the riffraff filter housing. I went ahead and I used that on the bottom of the fitting with just a little bit of sealant and I used a little bit more sealant up where the gauge actually sits. But yeah, so all this is is a dash 4 to 8th inch MPT adapter. Male dash 4 to 8th inch MPT female. Or 8th inch MPT female to dash four male adapter um this one came from amazon it was 10 bucks i got the gauge also from amazon i want to say the eight gauge was like 15 20 bucks um together if you had the riffraff lid which i love this is way better quality than the stock one you could have an easy port for fuel gauge on your 7.3 um at least for the super duties i believe the uh OBS trucks may have a, I know they've got different uh, fuel filter housing, so the lid is probably different on those. But double check with Riff Rap before you purchase. But for the Super Duty trucks, there you go. Easy, cheap, 30 bucks. You can install it in about 10 minutes if you have the Riff Rap lid. The Riff Rap lids are expensive. They are like, I want to say 70, 80 bucks. Guys, they are well worth it. You can only use them with OEM, Ford, filters so make sure you're doing that but that's really the best filter to run in these trucks anyway um, a lot of these 7.3s have 300 400 thousand miles on them and they've been running factory fuel filters just fine um, because this is a service truck and because i like doing things a little bit different um i'm kind of going overkill on this i haven't really showed you this service truck much but we do have some other mods done to it. Nothing crazy. It's all been for reliability and durability purposes. We have 351,000 miles on it now. And I'm really excited. I think we're going to do some fun stuff with the turbo. Uh, we are going to replace all the intercooler boots. And we're going to do probably a new, probably a T500 HPO pump. Replace all the lines. And then do a regulated return system for the fuel system. And that should really make this truck very happy and give us, you know, hopefully years and years of service because with the price of trucks right now, I cannot afford to replace this sucker. Um, we've got a 5K crane on it. We've got our welder on it. it. does everything we need. It's a ZF6 manual truck. Transmission was replaced at about 310,000 miles. So it's only got about 40,000 miles on the trainee. Clutch was done at the same time. So, I mean, if we can keep this thing running... Uh, you know, for another 150,000 miles, a couple more years, I'll consider that a win. So I'm not too afraid of putting a little bit of money into it, especially with all the new issues with the modern diesels and also all the crazy diesel emission stuff going on. And honestly, fuel economy with 48 gears it hasn't been too terrible. So, but anyway, this video is mainly for this. Love the billet fuel filter housing cap. If you don't have one, recommend it. If you need a gauge, once again, that is going to be a just a cheap Marshall gauge off Amazon. Liquid filled. It works just fine. Using not thread tape, but diesel rated sealant. 
into a eighth inch MPT female to dash four male fitting adapter. Google it, search it, and you'll find it. They're on Amazon. They're like 10 bucks. All right, guys, as always, be safe and have a nice day.